Today we're going to put together the XR250 Sport Ride On ATV. Pretty nice looking ATV here. It goes 3 miles per hour forward speed, 3 miles per hour reverse speed, 12 volt. We'll get it all put together here. Okay, now we have it all out the box, and we have the tires set aside. Okay, here we have the handlebars. We have the hubcaps for the wheels and the tighteners. And also here we have the drivetrain for the rear axle, which we'll assemble first. Okay, now we have the rear axle set to the side. We're going to slide the rear axle through the frame and then put one metal spacer on each side of the axle. It's important to make sure here that you have those spacers on both sides of the rear axle. Now that we have the rear axle through the frame, we're going to insert the motor for the rear, for the rear axle. We're going to insert the gearboxes, making sure that you match up the right to the right and the left to the left. Now that we have the right and left gearboxes applied to the rear axle, now we'll take the wires and run them down into the battery. That's where we'll connect them. And then we'll insert the rear tires onto the rear axle. And one thing to note, it doesn't matter which tires you put on the front or the back, they all fit the same. And you can see here where the wires go down into the battery. You run them down through this small compartment.
Okay, you're going to take those two plastic devices there, and that's what you use to tighten down your bolts onto your washers to secure the tires. You just hold one on one side and then hold the other on the other side and twist it as you hold. Tighten those down and we'll put these hubcaps on. Now that we have tightened down the bolts and snapped on the hubcaps, we can move on to the next step. Here's where we pulled the wires through from the two rear gearboxes and we're going to connect those here to the battery matching the red to the red and the white to the white. Here we have the front wheels on. We put them on the same way as the back wheels just tighten them on with the two tighteners and we'll snap these hubcaps on and move on to the next step. You want to remove this nut and bolt here so you can secure the handlebar on the mount. On the bottom of the handlebars, it's required to have three AAA batteries. This is where you insert them. Once you get the handlebar onto the mount, there's a hole. You're going to put this screw through there and you're going to secure it on the other side with the bolt. Here's the view from the other side. We're going to get the bolt so we can secure the handlebars to the mount. Now that we have the handlebars secured to the mount, all that's left is to charge it up. Okay, well we have it all put together and now we're going to charge it up. 